Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Jet Force Gemini. Last time we had gone through Maizai's palace as Juno. We're about to pick up the last two tribals and wrap up both Juno and Lupus's paths through Maizai's palace. I'm gonna warn you right now, it's probably gonna be a little bit of a boring video. It's gonna be three cutscenes and they're gonna take up the majority of this video. But I finally get to show you Floyd in action. Of course, I mentioned in the last video that you needed Floyd to get into the pyramid that you need to get to to get to Mizar. And finally, I'll be able to show you how that works. Now, if you see these little three rotating pyramids, there's three, three tri pyramids that you have to pick up. And. You have to do that as Floyd, and then we should be able to get the uh, pyramid to appear. And we have to do it on this Floyd pad, which I think we've seen one other time. I've avoided mentioning what they are and showing you a bunch of them. A lot of the other ones are hidden somewhere. The controls for Floyd can be annoying. You get a gun, you can fly up and down. But because you're in a first-person view, uh, you can't really tell how big Floyd's body is. So sometimes you may find yourself getting stuck in the holes that you have to go through, and it can be really annoying. Always scraping against stuff like that. And you don't need... And of course, there's the indicator to show you exactly what you're supposed to do if you can't figure it out. Uh, you're also timed on these and I don't know where the timer is for this one but I know it starts beeping if you start screwing up really badly. Uh, and that's all you have to do for that. The other ones that you have to do which I'll be showing you, you have to fire at targets and collect things and they're not that easy. Especially if you go for the Floyd trophies, which I'll explain later. The entrance to the pyramid is probably not what you were expecting. Uh, I'm sure, you know, at this point a lot of these games where you have a pyramid coming out of somewhere, usually coming out of the ground, because it's been buried under sand, not flying in with these rockets. You know, it's funny, it shows all the doors opening, but when you actually go up to it, all the doors are shut. And you can only enter in the character-specific door, which is what we're going to do right now. If we'll ever get out of this cutscene. There we go. Now Juno's entrance is right over here. See, we'll just go right in and we'll start another cutscene. Let 
music in here is pretty cool. Now, even though this platform comes rising out of the ground and everything, my first inclination would not be to jump on top of it. I mean, odds are it would fly up into the ceiling and crush you or fall away and you'd fall into some spikes or something. If anyone was standing down there, they'd be electrocuted. This probably explains why there aren't any drones hanging around in there. It would really suck if you collected all those pyramid icons and uh, that pyramid came floating in and there were people hanging around <laughs> in the well or the fountain or whatever that's supposed to be before. It landed oh well, anyway. Uh, now we get to finish off Lupus's path and... Basically, we're already at the pyramid. Where we came out, it's also where we just were with Juno, so that works out pretty well. And I don't know how Floyd is with Lupus at this point, but... I guess it doesn't really matter. You don't see Floyd go in here with anybody. Now, Lupus's entrance is over here. It's the one... Over in this direction from that exit. And let's we'll jump on in. And basically all three cutscenes are the same, except they slightly modify them for each character. And uh, there's really not much else I'm going to show. Next time we're going to pick up with Vela and finish off her Mizar path. And uh, we'll get to see her swimming abilities in action, and I'm, I'm not looking forward to it. The underground place we have to go swimming is confusing. But anyway, we'll save that for tomorrow. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, sorry if this wasn't the most eventful of the videos, but we should be getting close to an epic final battle. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.